Holy guacamole, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And I'm so excited to finally be back. Brandon and I are both so excited because we're finally moved in our house. We're finally done with those huge jobs that we had. And we can finally get back to the needy goody To you guys, what matters to us the most are subscribers. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm excited to be back. So why don't you give this video a like for us being back? Or just for all the hard work we put into these uh, either way, give it a like, share it, favorite it, do whatever you want. Sameless, or sh sameless, shameless self-promotion right here, guys. Please give this video a like. Okay, so now that I'm done embarrassing myself, let's get into this. Today, we are learning this effect. I'll turn this down so I can talk over it. Uh, basically, it's uh, a movie look. I mean, I've done this in the past. I've shown you guys how to do it in the past, but I'm going to delete that video because, I don't know. I didn't explain it good enough, I don't think. But I really have some good footage here. As you can tell, it's slowed down using Twixter. Uh, it's anamorphic widescreen. And uh, just in general, it's pretty beautiful. I mean, there's some pixelization. That's because I dumbed it down for you guys so I could send it to you guys and it's not some massive footage. Um, you guys can download all this footage for free. Just check the crotch below and you guys will see. You can download it. And you can explore with me. Yeah, it'd be so much fun. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get to the tutorial, right? Um, yeah, so open up After Effects. Then double click in the blank canvas area. Then bring in first shot, second shot, and third shot. See, how, look how small that footage is. And if you guys, um, if you're like, oh, how'd you get the slow motion, Eli? Uh, just ask in the comments and I'll do a Twixter tutorial next week. It's very simple. Um, Twixter's amazing. I, I can show you guys if you want. Just ask for it and I'll do it. Okay, so, a uh, drag and drop into this blank canvas area over here. And you will notice something right off the bat. It is not anamorphic widescreen. So, Eli, how do you fix that? Well, random person I don't know. Go up to Composition. Go to Composition Settings. And here's where we're going to get into it. So regular footage or like widescreen footage that you take nowadays. I mean, it used to be different. It used to be in something called 4.3, which is a square box. But now everything's in full 1080p and such. And that's in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. What we want is going into something called 2 by 1 or something very close to that. Um, anamorphic is basically taking the bottom and we will make it until it goes to anywhere from 2.35 that's like the very basic one up to 3.9 so 2.35 or 2.39 or nowadays a lot of people use 2.40 and those three are the ones that you can use all the rest of them aren't quite anamorphic so we're keep in mind 2.35 2.39 or 2.40 any three of those will work so from that hit OK and you have an anamorphic shot and what you will notice is in the original footage that I give you it is a little bit shaky so the first thing we're gonna do and I did that on purpose <laughs> go over to the search engine over here the effects and presets search engine and type in stab because we're gonna stab someone no we're gonna warp stabilize this footage so click and drag it onto the footage and it will do its analyzing thing and by analyzing it it will analyze it and basically do all the work for you make it steady and make it beautiful and the benefit to that is uh, we just sit back and relax and let it do its thing but it's gonna take a little bit so I don't know I think I'll just bring you guys back in two minutes, okay? Because I don't want to wait two minutes. I love you, but I need my space, okay? We need to take a break, guys. Okay, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Goodbye. All right, so once it is done doing that first step, it will do step two of two, which is actually stabilizing it. And it'll do this orange thing, and then boom. Now it will be so smooth, it's insane. But uh, here's something that I did, not on purpose. I thought I was holding it steady, but apparently not. It is a little bit 
sideways if you can notice or not so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the footage we're gonna hit R for rotation. So I, I don't know I wanted to hit B for some reason I, I, I don't know maybe for Brandon I don't know um, so we're gonna rotate it just ever so slightly until the plane is straight and just straight by the eye it doesn't have to be perfect guys I think that looks pretty good maybe yeah two looks better to me so now we're gonna select it and hit S for scale we're just gonna scale it up a little tiny bit to where just where the edges touch the uh, the outside of the frame so we're just gonna barely cheat it right right there that's fine so 102 percent and rotation at like two percent or something very easy and now that shot is beautiful it is perfectly stable and it's just amazing so uh, and it's slowed down already guys this is only like a four a three and a half second clip or something but I twixtered it and slowed it down a lot so um, give it that movie look. I'll do that next week. Even if you guys don't want it, that's what you're getting next week. A Twixter tutorial. Okay? So suck it. I don't care. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That's the first shot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the composition because we're going to do some basic editing within After Effects. So go up to the composition. Go composition settings once again. And we're going to make the duration... Uh, let's just make it just so we're safe let's make it 30 seconds so yeah just type in 30 right there in the seconds category and it'll make it longer and if you go to this this bar up here and uh, stretch it out to the right you can see your full composition now and I'm sorry my nose is kinda stuffy guys I, I keep getting sick for some reason I don't know why so if it's annoying you I'm sorry but you're gonna have to suck it up okay it's my body I can do what I want if I wanna be sick I'll be sick okay so, uh, click and drag second below first shot, and if you see, there's a little arrow, and that's basically where it's going to show up, but I'm going to drag it out a little bit. So, that's the first shot. Here's the second shot. It's a nice, uh, very beautiful shot of uh, legs, but what I want is it to be stabilized as well. So, type in stab over here if you forgot to type it in or something, I don't know, and then click and drag stab warp stabilizer onto this footage now and now it's going to be corrected so I will bring you on once again I'm like a little slut or something I, w I need another break guys I need some space okay you guys keep getting in my face I can't handle it sometimes so just leave me alone don't call me don't text me I need my time okay I'll bring you back in two minutes okay it's just two minutes goodbye alright welcome back guys uh I finally realized that I love you and only you, so I wanted to bring you back. Uh, break is over. So uh, let's jump back into the tutorial. <laughs> so I also notice I remember from editing this the first time, that once it gets over here, this is also slightly off balance. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same thing. Hit R with this clip, second shot selected. Then we're going to rotate it until it looks good to our eye, which right about there that looks straight to me so now let's hit scale and let's scale her up and make sure that the edges touch right about there looks perfect on both ends okay so now we have both shots perfectly center perfectly aligned and uh, also here's something to keep in mind guys if you want you can move it up and down if your footage is too you know too tall or too short and you don't like that you can move it up and down with just the arrow keys. Just have it selected and move it up and down with the arrow keys. So right about there looks a lot more balanced, mostly because of uh, Brandon taking up this third of the screen and the sky has more open space, so you want to cheat this a little lower because it's uh, more open up there. So let's go back to the first shot and make sure we like where that one's laying. Um, I actually think it can go down a little bit. Yeah, that looks a lot better to my eye, giving Brandon some headroom. All right, so now for the last shot. The last shot is actually pretty perfect because I did this all for you. I already stabilized this one because I knew I was going to be tired of doing the warp stabilizer. So we, there's no need for a break, guys. See, I do love you. I always have and I always will. You're the only fans for me. <laughs> All right, so this tutorial is being too long. Let's uh, keep going and just finish it already. All right, so it's going to fade out now. 
So here's what we're going to do. We want to do that smooth, nice transition between all the shots. So let's go to about right there. That's that's about a two second fade in and out. So let's drag it with the, the underclip second shot underneath the first shot right about there. And now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice smooth transition. So with first shot selected, we're going to hit T. That's for opacity. We're going to do a keyframe. And that, that enables a keyframe. And now we're going to keep it at 100%. And if it didn't make a keyframe for some reason, just go 100%. Then we're going to slide it over until it touches the very end. There we go. Now we're going to go all the way down to zero. And there you go. So now it does a nice, soft transition. Isn't that just wonderful? And if you want it even softer, you can do a nice uh, select one of the keyframes and then hit F9 that will do a nice it's called an easy ease keyframe do a nice ease Ooh, it's so beautiful and now we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom shot we want it about two seconds this and if you notice this clip is uh, at about 13 seconds at end so we're gonna go to about 11 seconds and then that's where we want that one to line up so let's click and drag it and now let's select second shot hit T hit the keyframe move it over go to the very end and now drag it all the way down to zero and you will get a nice transition let's uh, select the first keyframe and hit F9 now we'll get a nice transition that is a nice boulder so yeah I like it so uh, the tutorial is almost done guys the last thing is just coloration alright and this is all up to you guys. I showed you guys anamorphic. Anamorphic is the big deal. That's the thing that really shows that you know what a movie should look like if you use anamorphic because it shows more of the composition. And if you cheat it that way, it makes it look way more professional. So always anamorphic. This coloring you can do as easy as. Let's just select in this blank canvas area down here. Go new adjustment layer. And we'll select it and we'll hit enter and then we'll say CC for color correction okay so then we'll go over here let's uh... Let's delete that now I always use magic bullet effects you don't have to if you're if you don't want to spend the money on them even though I highly recommend you do uh... go up make sure CC selected then go up to effect and go to color correction and you can always do a nice curves curves always looks pretty good um... if you want to do kind of a vintage look raise the reds um, lower the or no raise the blues as well lower the greens and you're getting a nice vintage look there you see that that nice purple look and uh, you can get a nice you know Instagrammy kind of look like that but uh, and overall it's still you can do a nice uh, crust the blacks and raise the whites it's so racist but I mean overall just magic bullet always makes things look a ton a million times better so delete the curves let's go over to magic bullet let's do a nice vignette on color correction oh that that alone makes it look way better we're gonna go to mojo just like always we're gonna mojo her up so let's uh, put mojo right about there tinting let's move it over more towards the I think there's that blue side or is that green side I'm not quite sure balance just mess with it. Just mess with it till you get a desired effect. I highly, highly recommend Magic Bullet, guys. I can't, can't say that enough. Where just ma Magic Bullet makes everything look a trillion times better. It makes it look more movie, movie esque. So get it, love it, use it. <laughs> and with that, everything is looking pretty darn awesome. Yep, even that. So uh, the last step is to make your composition good again. So you can bring this over and make it just touch the very end. Right click on it and go trim comp to work area. And that'll just make it, you know, your composition fully to the very end of the composition and to the beginning. So uh, yeah, now the last thing I guess you can do is you can hit T on this layer and uh, hit, bring it all the way down to zero 
you know, go a few seconds forward to like two seconds, bring her up to 100%. That's a nice fade in. And if we go to 22 seconds, do the same thing with the bottom layer, third shot, hit T, toggle the keyframe to make it 100%, then go all the way to the back. Maybe this one will want a little tiny bit longer. So now we'll bring it down to zero. And now your composition is done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will put this video at the very end once again. And you guys can see what you created. What we created as a family. <laughs> what the freak? Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys should thank Brandon as well for uh, standing out there in the middle of our new neighborhood. Um, there, if you didn't notice in the shot, there's some kids back there playing in our freaking park. I mean... They shouldn't be playing. They should be inside playing video games. I mean, come on. Why are you outside throwing a football, kids? Go inside. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. We're sorry we took so long, but we had a lot of stuff we were doing. Um, thank you guys for being patient. You guys are the best subscribers ever. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Twixter tutorial. Keep that in mind. Brandon's tutorial on Tuesday. I think that's Christmas, so um, Merry Christmas if I don't get to talk to you anytime sooner but i think i will so i'll see you guys later love you later <laughs>